Meal planning is an important task of our life which most of us often tend to ignore. We think we do not have the time to plan our meal but instead we spend minutes every day which in turn becomes hours every month thinking about what to cook next either for breakfast, lunch or dinner. And in this bargain we lose a lot of time. Welcome to my channel Living in Bengaluru. My name is Smita. If you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. And if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button below and also hit on the like button if you have liked this video. Before we start meal planning, I want all of you to keep your master list, planner and stationery ready. Now for me, here is my planner. I'm using the same planner. This is Alicia Souza's planner in which for the month of February, I have here the monthly meal plan. Then I have my master list book. I have my weekly planning magnetic board that I generally put it on the fridge. And I have my rest of the stationery. I'll put up all the links in the description box below of all the stationeries that I'm using here. Now, if you don't have a master list, I strongly recommend you to create one. I have already uploaded a video on how to create your master list. I've put a link to the video on the top and you'll also find the link in the description box below. Please make sure to check it out. Weekly meal plan never worked for me. Whenever there was a trigger of creating a meal plan, I would create a meal plan for the week. And if I missed writing it down the next week, I always ended up skipping the meal plan again. And this would continue for a long time. And this continued so many times and I finally gave up meal planning. Let me know in the comment section below if you have faced this challenge and what did you do about it. I somehow felt that I needed to make this a habit. You'll again find different theories behind creating a habit. But generally it is said that it takes 21 days to create a habit and another 10 days to practice it to be consistent. So which is actually like 31 days that is a month. With this said, I started making a monthly meal plan instead of weekly. I know it takes some time every month but at least you'll have a blueprint for the whole month, though not the finalized one. I made sure that I kept one afternoon free every month to make my meal plan. I would revisit the meal plan every week and update it the way I want it. So I would just spend a few minutes in updating it weekly and making the grocery list. I'll upload a meal plan video on 27th of every month. Let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to join me every month. Now, as I keep planning, I will give you on the tips and the tricks that you need to write your monthly meal plan. Here is my master list. So this is my master list which I have created. So I have the full master list here with all that I need to make my monthly list. Now before I write down anything here, I have a few pointers here that I need to remember. You can create your own pointers but these are a few ones. A few points to remember for me for every month. So what I'll do is instead of writing the pointers here which i may use it every month so every time i don't want to write a new pointer so what i'll do is i'll stick this here a sticky notes once i finish planning here i'll put it for the month of march so every time i don't have to write the same points over and over again now i'm making a few points that i remember for every week these are my every week tasks with respect to the meal plan i will write here and the same thing i may jot it down for my monthly layout so now points to remember my meal plan always starts with friday evening so i start i will start here also friday evening so this is friday So here now I have jotted down the points to remember just so that you remember a few things. Now I have my meal plan is like this. So Friday afternoons and Saturday and Sunday is a holiday. Currently due to pandemic we are not going anywhere but sometimes what happens is Saturday and Sunday we get we have some other commitment we need to go somewhere or something or the other happens because Saturday and Sunday is a holiday. So weekends generally it's very difficult to plan out anything. So Friday afternoon I will keep for weekly plan so my weekly plan 
if I have to update or change anything then I will update it on a Friday afternoon I'll finalize on the snacks for the week one new recipe for the week and the dessert so which new recipe I have to do for that week that I will decide and the dessert for the week so I make only one dessert for one week then I will finally write down or jot down the grocery list next coming to Saturday morning I would order the groceries now because we are not going out I am generally ordering the groceries earlier I used to go to the market near our house and I would pick up because it depends on what vegetables you get whether you get what you want or you just pick up depends on what is available and what is fresh nowadays since we order everything online I order groceries from the online stores I finish off the leftovers of the week if there is anything so since Saturday is to finish the leftover I don't plan anything for Saturday Saturday I plan it then and there itself because Friday I come to know what is left over for Saturday so depending on that on Friday when I'm doing the weekly update plan that I'm, I'll write down what we are eating on Saturday as well then one desert because since there will be left over there will be something or the other left over of the week and since I have less cooking to do I generally do one desert for Saturday desert as in something sweet which I and my younger daughter don't eat only my husband and my older one eats then Sunday I will make one new recipe and update the master list with the recipe as well as the main master list the name of the recipe so these are the points to keep in mind before I make the monthly meal plan so this is just started from Monday but actually February starts from Tuesday so what I will do I will write down the date here I stopped at 28 because February has only 28 days now make sure that this you also keep track of your holidays so I can even write here so holidays and events whichever days we have some holidays or birthdays or events or something like that then those days I generally don't plan earlier Saturday Sundays was you know so many times we would go out so Saturday and Sundays also you skip but now generally we are at home due to the pandemic and COVID situation nobody is moving out now we have less number of functions as well so Saturday Sunday there is no planning now according to this list so now what I am going to do is I already mentioned it earlier that this is just the blueprint and not the finalized one so finalized one every week I will update it erase and update so when you write it in pencil you can always erase and update but the minute you write in pen you always tend to scratch it off and write or use correction pen or whatever you use it really becomes dirty which I don't like so now currently I'm going to do the meal plan so the first thing is what I'm going to do on 22nd is my daughter's birthday so I will write here on 22nd I'm not planning generally I do something special for their birthday and what they like so this plan will be just the week before so I'm not going to plan anything for her birthday here once I'm done with this now I'll check my list so Saturday is finish the leftover so every Saturday here I have a breakfast recipe generally breakfast is not leftover but lunch I can adjust with a leftover so what I'll do I'll just write I'm going to do this so now here I know every Friday I'm going to fill this up as to what is left over in the fridge or whatever is left over which vegetables are left over anything that is left over any non-veg items that are left over all that I will adjust accordingly here now after this the next one is I am going to fill up my breakfast menu here so I will start with the first if you can see the boxes are too tiny for me here but my handwriting is a competition to these boxes I can still write smaller I hope this is visible what I'm writing you can make your own master list make sure these points are according to what you want not according to this but you make a points list like this that suits your needs since I have a holiday on Saturday and Sunday I do these tasks during the weekend may not be the same for y'all 
depending on what you want you can include that in your list So this is my breakfast list for one week. Similarly, I'll continue here till the 28th. So my breakfast list is going to be till the 28th. So as you see, I'm not planning only for a week. I'm going to plan for the whole month. It will take me some time, but yeah, it will help me in the long run. Generally, our Mondays is a very, uh, what do you say, a very rush time because after the weekend you know monday nobody wants to wake up in the morning So I have completed the breakfast menu for all the 28 days. Now if you see my breakfast menu, you can see a difference that weekdays from Monday to Friday I have done that is something very easy like you know dosa dao because I grind for dosa dao the previous day. Next day I just have to fry the dosas. Here if you see sana, pongal, pongal is also very easy to make like kichdi, poha is a quick recipe so these are all simple recipes that I can make maybe 10-15 minutes so these are the ones the sambar and all those things I cook it the previous night and keep it like boil the dal or whatever is needed for the sambar I boil it boil it the previous night then the remaining whatever has to be done I do it in the morning that again takes 5 to 10 minutes then coming to elaborate or time taking recipes those I generally keep for Saturday and Sunday. For Saturday, I haven't written anything down. That will be only during the weekly update. I'm going to do that. Sunday, you can see I have kept Puri Sagu, Alu Parota, Rava Kichdi, Methi Parota. My class starts at 8 o'clock in the morning and it goes on up till 10.30, 10.45. So it's very difficult for me to make something. Before 8 o'clock, it is like from 7.30, I wake up kids. I have to tie up their hair. They've got long hair. Both my kids have got very long hair. So because of that, I have to tie up their hair, oil their hair, tie up and it takes some time. So before 7.30, I need to finish all this and I don't want to make any elaborate things during that time. So that's the reason all the elaborate breakfast menu goes to Saturday and Sunday. So this is the whole idea of having the breakfast plan. Coming to the lunch, our uh, lunch is actually our lunch and dinner both are influenced from the South India so uh, we eat the red rice my lunch is going to be most of the times only red rice night I have now made a little bit changes we don't eat red rice in the night we try and avoid rice I try to make most of the times millets like ragi roti ragi mute or jowa roti or something from the millet menu but otherwise I most of the times try to avoid red rice now shall we do the lunch list then I'll pick up things from my master list for lunch my lunch generally lunch is all red rice so I will just rice here a rice for me it's understood it is red rice so I'm not going to write red rice or white rice or anything I'll just write rice everywhere So now when you see, I have written only Tuesday to Friday, this Monday is of January, so that's there in another list. If you see here, I have just written wedge 2, wedge 3, 
veg 4 and veg 5 and if you see fish curry fish fry and I have not specified which fish or I haven't specified which veg I'm going to use because that depends on when I shop for the groceries on Saturday what is available for that day I'm going to write it down here so what I'll do the day I am buying my groceries that day what groceries are available what vegetables are available i'm going to erase this so that is why i'm writing in pencil so i can erase this and write which vegetable i'm going to use that day once i know for the week that is starting from the 31st of january that is veg 1 veg 2 veg 3 veg 4 and veg 5 so i know i need five vegetables for the week and those vegetables i am going to order it on saturday i will also update this list on friday night or saturday morning after i buy the grocery i'll continue and fill this up for the whole lunch so i've completed my lunch menu so if you can see my lunch menu this is generally you see rice fish curry a staple food is rice and fish curry and one vegetable i'll be adding it every week depending on what is available for the week sunday i'm going to try one new recipe every week so depending on one what is that recipe i will also write my dinner meal so now this is what i've had for the lunch menu now coming to the dinner menu generally my dinner menu is millet so i go for ragi or jowar i sometimes also do these special rises of north karnataka like bisi Bad and tomato rice and all that but very rare for this month because i have got my daughter's birthday and so many other things coming up i best is not to do that so i'm not planning for any of it let me see sometime on saturday sunday if there's nothing left over or depending on my meals i may plan those different kind of rices on saturday and sunday but rest of the times i will try to cover it up with millet recipes Okay, now I have already written down my meal planning for the whole month. Now once I have the whole blueprint, what I'm going to do is, today is still not a Friday. So what I'm going to do here is now that I'm going to copy down this into my weekly meal plan. Finalize this, copy it down into my weekly meal plan and I'm going to do my grocery list for the week. So this I'm not going to do today, but just to show you all how I do it. I will do it now starting on the 31st year this is the 31st of Jan which I have so now this is my uh, weekly I don't know if you can see the whole thing okay this is how it looks it's a fridge magnet so I write it down and I stick it back on the fridge so I have Sunday Monday Tuesday like this up to the whole week Saturday and then reminders and more so I will start on a Sunday here. This is the duster to erase. This is also magnetic. And these are my marker pens. So this week for the coming week, that's the next week from the 30th of Jan. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to write on this. This is the Saturday. So this is going to be on the 29th. I generally start my meal plan on the 29th but this since it is starting from a Sunday this is my 29th this is on the 30th this is 31st this is on the 1st so I'm going to write this and generally whatever I have to shop for that week I'm going to write here so starting on the 29th leftovers i am not going to write starting with my breakfast here this week i'm going to do appam and x2 and then here it is leftovers now this i will write only on friday evening when i know what are the leftovers okay i am 
shooting my video on Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Tomorrow I will post this. I still have another day on Friday. Maybe next month when I plan or if there is anything, do let me know. I if you want any updates on this, I can also put a photograph on Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll get all the details. So this is on Saturday. On Sunday, I'm going to do rava kichdi or what is called as khara bath and one new recipe which I have not yet finalized. I'm going to try one new recipe here and depending on that I will also finalize on my dinner. Now one more thing to keep in mind if you don't know which new recipe to search out you can also keep a monthly theme like for one month maybe February one month you're going to try state wise cuisine like Gujarati cuisine, Bengali cuisine whatever you can keep your choice if you don't know where to start from or you can keep an international cuisine like Mexican, continental, European, any anything that what you like. So if you don't know where to start, that's the best way that you can start. Now here on the 31st, so I'm going to write it down from my monthly meal plan book. I'm going to copy it down straight into this and I'll update the things that I'll get later on. With this I complete now, as you can see, I'll just show it to you, Sunday and then up to Saturday. So this is how I have my list, since I have not yet checked on what is the new recipe. Now next what I am going to do is here, write down the new recipe and the dinner. On Friday also update this, what are the leftovers and what I need to plan for the Friday sorry for the Saturday that all this I'm going to plan on Friday evening that is on the 28th so Saturday is 29th on 28th I'm going to plan what I need for the week now after this after the whole meal planning from my Saturday starting from my Saturday up to my Friday the next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to write my shopping list here for example here I need vegetables five types of vegetables because if you've seen I've just written one two three four five now five types of vegetables again depending on what a vegetable is available I will change the recipe accordingly if I want to make some ladies finger fry or something so depending on if I buy the ladies finger then I might just change one of this and write ladies finger or beans or whatever I want to so I'll just change this name into the one that I need so I I know vegetables I need 5 numbers 250 grams of each of the vegetable I know how much my family eats per day so accordingly I'll buy this then if I see rava kichdi I already have corn and peas for this I have capsicum as well so I'm not going to buy anything here here I have bread sandwich so I need bread we generally make bread at home so that I will make it on Saturday or Sunday then here you can see rice fish curry so I want one at least around we have around 2 kgs of fish so if I say fish around 2 kgs again depends on what kind of fish is available when I order it on Saturday Saturday here in Bangalore no fish comes fresh fish comes on Saturday to the fish guy so I call him up and he comes and delivers at home on the Saturday next if you see here dosa dosa dough I am going to grind on Monday and keep it for fermentation for Tuesday 
so my meal prep comes into another list this is only my meal plan so this is how my meal plan is that is it guys so every friday i'm going to update this whole list so i will erase this and write it down all over again starting from saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday so every week i'm going to do this by referring to this list let me know guys if this was an easier way and how will it work out for you if you think you've liked this video if you think this idea is is the best that suits you then please write in the comment section below please like this video i need more and more likes and if you haven't subscribed yet please click on the subscribe button below thank you guys i will see you super soon in another video bye bye